Okay, so continuing with our presentations today, next up we have Critical out of San Francisco, California. They're um, building a software-defined dual-use edge computing solution for hard real-time robotics sensing and space systems. All right. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. I uh, just wanted to quickly say, uh, being in Silicon Valley, I've probably listened to more VC panels than bowls of ramens I've, eat, I've eaten, which is, and that's a lot of ramen. And uh, that was one of the least lame VC panels I've ever sat on, uh, even with Alex's jokes. Um, so you know, thanks a lot for, for that uh, candid conversation. Um, and thank you, Ensign, uh, Decisive Point, um, and SOCOM for inviting us to this, have this opportunity to present today. Um, it's been a great program and excited to share a little bit about uh, who, who and what Critical is, um, what we do, and how we're uh, solving problems for the warfighter. A um, little hard to read here, but uh, again, my name is Ryan Cousins. I'm co-founder and CEO of Critical, uh, based out of San Francisco. Uh, we are delivering edge computing hardware and software solutions that uh, address the rapid deployment of AI and other software capabilities at the tactical edge. So we're heavily focused on uh, modular open systems um, and making deployment of advanced AI capabilities as simple as easy, and easy as possible for third-party developers. Uh, and one, one of the things we're demonstrating here today, if you come over to our table, uh, is a platform that's actually designed for robotic combat vehicle uh, predictive and preventative maintenance as well as automation or uh, autonomy capabilities. Um, and I'll get into a little bit more about that and how we're, how we're addressing some of these problems. Um, so some of the applications that we have for our tech. So we actually started as a, uh, purely focused on industry for the first uh, several years of our existence. So a lot of industrial automation, robotics companies, um, things like computer vision, uh, networking, uh, worked with a lot of different research institutions over the years. Um, and now we've transitioned, it turns out, we have a lot of our tech is directly applicable to the Department of Defense as well. So um, when we're talking about tactical edge, we're talking about a lot of mechatronic systems. So that could be anything ro from robotics, UAVs, um, air-based, sea-based platforms, uh, as well as body-worn edge compute. Um, so anything where you're trying to, you know, the thing of your problem set is, you know, I need to be able to perform as much compute as possible in a small, a small light uh, and compact solution um, or a compact form factor as I can get. And I need that to be readily deployable and scalable across several different applications. That's kind of our sweet spot. Um, so some of our uh, DOD and commercial customers, so we have about $5 million uh, in Silver and Sitter, uh, some of that lame Silver and Sitter funding uh, that we just heard about a few minutes ago um, in the last couple of years. Um, we're using that to really build out the technology platform uh, to go both go after industry and, and defense. Um, so we have a couple different programs with SOCOM as well as Army, uh, and we're looking at in, to engage a little bit more with the hyper-enabled operator um, initiatives that SOCOM's going after. Uh, and we actually, we have sold several thousand units, units to industry, to, to ship several thousand units to industry to date um, across hundreds of customers. Um, and some of the stuff that we're developing here today, uh, so what we've done is we've come up with a, uh, a unique uh, hybrid compute uh, environment that abstracts everything away from the end software developers. So if you think about you know, your traditional AI companies, a lot of playing around in the cloud, or you, know, you, have a, you have a solution that you want to deploy in a real world system, but you're not really sure how to do it. What are the compute resources gonna be? What does the development and deployment environment look like? How am I gonna get sensor data? Once I get the sensor data, how do I align all that and make sense of it? Is it gonna be time stamped? Is it gonna be formatted correctly? Forget all of those problems, that's what we solve. We give you the hardware, uh, hardware that physically goes into the system, so all the physical interf interfacing with the system, all the pre-processing of the data that needs to go into your uh, AI solutions, and present that, basically hand it to you on a silver platter, your models do what they're gonna do, we take the results of those models and we distribute those uh, in accordance with the, the MOSA standards um, that the, especially the Army's using uh, for, um, for, the, for uh, transmitting uh, sorry, for networking solutions on real world systems. So you don't have to worry about formatting, structuring, any of that stuff, that's all, that's all abstracted. And we do that in a, a size, weight, and power form factor that's 50 to 75% less of, uh, of um, competitive architectures. 
So a lot of the learnings that we've gone through talking with both uh, SOCOM end users as well as some of our, uh, our Army customers is, you know, where, where is the sweet spot for this? So it's really, when you have a lot of data coming in, very sophisticated, you know, you got you know, video data, you got accelerometer data, temperature, you know, vibration information, uh, location, all these different things, you're trying to make sense of all of this at the same time. Um, and we've, we've been able to fuse all that data effectively together and again, present that to those, those third party developers um, that could be either be defense based or commercial and get those into a, onto a known entity that can be readily deployed at the edge and can scale both up and down uh, into say ground, uh, ground vehicle robotics and aviation platforms as well as um, body worn or soldier worn compute. Um, so again, we're based out of uh, based out of San Francisco. 100% uh, of our hardware is actually manufactured in the Bay Area. Um, it's all designed across the U.S. Uh, where our engineering team is based. Um, handful of uh, partners that I've listed up here. Actually, one of our uh, one of the companies is demonstrating some of, uh, some of our hardware. Is running their software on their Konami. Uh, is also a, a, um, an Ensign Propel alumni. Uh, so check us out. We're next to our, our uh, tables are next to each other over there. Um, and what's next? Uh, so. You know, we're, we're moving through a couple of different servers and sitters right now. Um, you know, we're, we're looking for, uh, talk to as many operators and end users as we can and figure out what's next for that kind of uh, mystical uh, SIBR transition stage. Um, so, you know, we're interested, very interested in talking with defense primes as well as far as integrating into platforms. Um, I feel like that's a really good pathway for transition. Um, as well as figuring out how, uh, how and where we can get into either existing program of records, programs of record, or future ones. Um, and we have a couple different uh, phase two sivers that I'm happy to discuss um, if there's opportunities for uh, funding enhancements um, and again, potentially phase three. Um, so then, again, uh, edge computing, stuff that's at the tactical edge, things that are, you know, you can physically touch, interfacing with the real world, our size, weight, and power constrained. That's our sweet spot from both the hardware and software perspective. So happy to talk about anyone who's interested in, in deploying these kind of capabilities uh, at the edge in real world systems um, or is looking to deploy their solutions in there. So thank you very much.